guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you guys about all of my favorite products. I'm going to kind of go super fast because I have a lot to talk about, so let's just jump into it. I have a big box of stuff next to me, so I am just going to grab. There's no rhyme or reason behind my grabbing. It's just kind of whichever, whatever comes out first. So the first thing that I love is going to be the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Serum. This stuff does wonders for my skin. Last year I got off of birth control after being on it for about 12 years or so. My skin freaked out. I had pretty bad acne. Everything was just going off the wall. It was, it was a mess. This stuff saved my skin. It made such a huge difference in my skin. I will say that when you do apply it to your face, um, it does burn quite a bit. It's a very strong tingle. But otherwise, I use this about three times a week and it's awesome. I love it so much and I highly recommend it. Next product is going to be the Pixi and Rach Loves Layers palette. This palette is absolutely stunning. The highlights in it are gorgeous. I cannot get over how blinding and beautiful these highlights are. They are just absolutely stunning. This isn't new by any means, it is still available. I do see it online at my Target. Next couple things I'm going to actually talk about together. They have absolutely nothing to do with each other. A YouTuber by the name of Jessica Braun is the one who showed all of these on her channel and that she's the reason why I bought them. First up is the Shea Moisture Glow Getter Pressed Serum. It's such an interesting consistency. Um, I've put quite the dent into it. You need just the tiniest, tiniest little amount and it makes your skin so soft and so hydrated and it makes a huge difference in how dry my skin was. Next item is going to be the L'Oreal Shake and Glow Lumi Spray. I absolutely love using Lumi sprays with a wet setting sponge, kind of like this one right here with a flat top. I just spray directly onto the wet sponge and then I just press it onto my skin. I can pick and choose where I want to put it if I want like a little bit more glow on my forehead, if I want, you know, a little bit more on my cheek. The next item is going to be the Revolution Pro Eye Elements Core Eye Primer. This is basically a dupe for the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I had Soft Ochre and then when I ran out of it, I just didn't repurchase it because I had already got this. I've had this for quite a while. It doesn't seem to be drying out or anything like that. It's a great shade. It does a great job at evening out my eyelids. It helps the eyeshadow stick really well. The number seven Lift and Luminate Pressed Powder. Um, looks just like that. It's a gorgeous powder. I use this all over my face. It's a matte powder, but it's not a matte powder, if that makes any sense. It has a little bit of luminosity to it that really just makes your skin look like skin, but it helps your makeup last a lot longer. Next up is the 4th Ray Beauty BFD Cleansing Oil. This cleansing oil removes all of my makeup. This cleansing oil in combination with the CeraVe Hydrating Face Wash, my face is completely clean. I could take a micellar wipe afterwards and nothing would come off. It's great. It does such a good job at breaking down my makeup. It hasn't broken me out. It smells good. It's just, it's a good price. It's just a great product. Let's just finish up the skincare really quick. Next product is CeraVe Skin Renewing Vitamin C Serum. This has 10% vitamin C in it. Like I said, with the acne that I had, um, I had a lot of leftover dark spots. I do still have some. They're not as bad as they were, and that is because of this, and it's also because of another product that I'm going to mention in just one second. This product helps get rid of my dark spots, it's brightened up my skin, and it's also super, super hydrating. I use this every single morning as part of my morning skin skincare routine, and I absolutely plan to purchase more when I run out. The last skincare item is um, another thing that actually helped a lot with my dark spots. And this is something that I heard about from Taylor Wynn here on YouTube. The product is the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rosehip Seed Oil. This stuff is, it's everything. It hydrates my skin so well. I have a problem where I like will get peely and dry right in like my, on my eyelid. My eyes water a lot and so my skin is always super irritated right in the outer corners and it makes it go away. It's helped reduce my dark spots. It's just 
I don't think that I will ever be able to live without this product. The next product is the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. I am in the shade LN6. That is a perfect match for me. The most amazing thing about this foundation is the fact that they released a hundred shades of this. Everybody could find their shade. It's awesome. Um, this is actually almost completely gone. I've gotten to the point where I now have to use the little doe foot inside to get out what's at the bottom because the pump no longer picks it up. It's actually what I'm wearing on my skin today. Um, it's not too dewy. It's not too matte. It's kind of right in the middle and it's really full coverage, a really beautiful finish. Again, the shade range is phenomenal. I cannot say enough good things about this foundation. It is amazing. Next up is going to be the Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blushes. Both of these blushes are absolutely stunning, and I'm so happy that these were the product that I first tried for liquid blushes. I'm not doing a very good job here, but... So this one right here is going to be the shade Cheeky Coral, and this one right here is Nude Flush. I actually kind of like to use this one a little bit as like a liquid bronzer as well. It works really well for that. On the same vein of cream blushes is going to be the ColourPop Blush Sticks in the shade Mini Me. I wanted something a little bit different than the Milani ones that I already had. This one's much cooler, it's much pinker, it gives me a little bit more variety. Um, they blend out super well. My favorite way to use this product specifically is actually just to take a brush and just put it on there and pat it onto my face. It has a great luminosity to it. It blends into the skin super well. It doesn't pick up your foundation underneath. Next up is going to be a product that Samantha Ravendahl actually talks about quite a lot here on YouTube. This is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I use the shade Light to Medium. Um, I use just the tiniest, tiniest little bit on a brush. I put it right here, right here, and then I just blend it out. It does a great job at brightening my under eyes. It's not too salmon -y where I have to overcompensate with my concealer to cover the salmon color. This just brightens my under eyes without leaving behind a pink cast. It's also super hydrating, doesn't crease underneath my eyes, it doesn't affect the way that my concealer works underneath it. Another current favorite of mine is actually not a new product by any means. It is the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights So Jaded Palette. This palette is just right up my alley. It's colorful, but it's deep. I love Jewel Tones. Jewel Tones are my, some of my favorite colors. I love the glitters that are in here. I love the fact that there is a super shock shadow. Everything about this palette, I just absolutely adore. I think Kathleen did such a great job. Next up is my holy grail, absolute favorite. I will never stop raving about this eyeliner. It is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. It's just super, super smooth and it creates beautiful wings. It's very pigmented. I never have an issue with it um, skipping over shimmers or glitters. I never have to worry about it. It doesn't chunk off. It doesn't flake off. I have really watery eyes and it doesn't smear off of my eyes. It stays put. It dries down. It's just a beautiful, beautiful eyeliner. The e.l.f. Hydrating 16 hour camo concealer is a beautiful concealer and I don't say that just because of how affordable it is I would pay a lot of money for a Concealer with this formula the price is just a huge added bonus. It doesn't crease underneath my eyes It has great coverage It's just everything that I could ask for in a concealer the shade is perfect for me and there's a ton of shades out there. Next up are two foundations that I absolutely love individually, but the reason that they're in my current favorites is actually because I love them mixed together. It's the L'Oreal Fresh Wear Foundation and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. Something about the two of these foundations mixed together is absolutely stunning. The more matte finish of this one just blends so beautifully with the luminous finish of this one and they just make the most beautiful full coverage skin-like finish. I, If you have both of these foundations and you haven't mixed them together, 
try it and let me know down below what you think about it because I think that you'll absolutely love it. The NYX Bear With Me Radiant Perfecting Primer is a beautiful, it, it's exactly what the name says. It's a radiant primer that is just a gorgeous glow. Put a lot on the back of my hand just now. But it just creates such a beautiful glow. It's so hydrating. It's so smoothing. It feels great on the skin. It almost feels a little bit cooling when you put it on. My only, and I'm going to show you how disgustingly dirty this is. My only qualm with this product is actually how big the hole is for the product to come out. Because it's not the thickest product and it will just come out. And then next thing you know you have too much primer and you're too glowy. In that same vein, the NYX Bear With Me Priming Jelly. This is a super interesting product. It is, I've actually put my brush and my grimy little fingers in this so many times and you can't even tell. It is exactly what it says, it's a jelly. Um, my favorite part about this is how sticky it is. It just grips your foundation and keeps it onto your skin. I will say that if you put on your SPF and no matter how long you let it soak into your skin, if you use too much of this, you will notice that your your SPF will pick up and actually start smearing around your face. So that is one thing you kind of got to learn how much to use for your own face. But once you figure that out, it is a godsend for keeping your foundation on for a really long time. One last primer, and it's also a NYX primer, I am obsessed with NYX primers, is the NYX Hydra Touch Oil. I actually don't use this all over my face. Um, I have before, especially with super matte foundations like the Maybelline Super Stay, foundations that just soak everything out of your skin. I will use that on, on my whole face. But my favorite way to use it is actually to just take a single drop and just rub it between my fingers and just pat it underneath the eyes. It hydrates my under eyes. It sinks into the skin beautifully. It doesn't interfere with any of my concealers. It just mixes with them and blends with them. One of my favorite under eye setting powders is actually the Morphe Loose Powder. I use the shade Translucent. Something interesting about this powder is there is almost just the tiniest, smallest, smallest, smallest little bit of reflect to it. It's not glittery. It's not sparkly. It just almost has a sheen to it. It brightens up the under eyes. I'll actually use it to clean up my nose when I contour and it leaves behind just the tiniest little bit of sheen on my nose that just makes my skin look healthy. It makes your under eyes look smooth and just brightened and it sets really well. It's an absolutely stunning powder. Next up is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzers and Blushes. These are absolutely stunning. Let me swatch them for you. They are definitely very pigmented. And this one um, in the shade Perpetually Tan is pretty warm. I can only use it very, very sparingly. But they last so well on the skin. They blend out beautifully. And I just can't say enough good things about them, especially because they are e.l.f. and they are so, so, so affordable. Yeah, there you go. Not the greatest swatches, but they'll do. The Milani Keep It Full Lip Plumping Gloss are my, hands down, my absolute favorite glosses. Don't be intimidated by the fact that they say that they're plumping. They don't burn. They actually just feel a little bit cooling on the lips. I would assume that they have just a little bit of menthol in them. But they are gorgeous lip glosses. They feel so good on the lips. They're so creamy and hydrating and they're not sticky at all. My absolute favorite one is this one right here is the shade Prismatic Peach. I also adore the shade Tropical Sunshine. They also have a shade Luminoso that matches their baked blush really well. These are to die for glosses. This is my absolute holy grail favorite, can't live without, so glad they brought it back, highlighting palette. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero highlighting palette. Every single one of these shades are absolutely stunning. This shade right here in 143 is, a, is too deep for me, but I do use it as an eyeshadow. This is my second palette that I've owned. I had the first one and then when it went away back in 2017, I wanna say, 
I babied that palette. I rarely used it. I, um, I did use it for my wedding, but I just, I couldn't bear to be without it. And when they announced that they were bringing it back, I immediately picked one up the day it went into stock. My favorite shade in this palette is actually going to be this orange one right here, Daydream. I just don't know of a shade that's like this. I, ever since this palette went away the first time, I've hunted and hunted and hunted for a shade similar to this. This like peachy, orange sickle kind of undertone. It is just absolutely beautiful. It gives like a candlelit effect on the skin. It's to die for. Just a couple things left. This is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 eyeshadow palette. This is relatively new. These are just, they're my shades. This, it's like this palette was made for me. I love warm tones, I love reds, I love purples, I love pinks. I could use this every single day and I wouldn't be disappointed. I wouldn't get bored. This is probably one of my favorite palettes that I own right now. The quality is there. This black shade right here is so pigmented and so dark. All of the shades are so smooth and so buttery. My absolute favorite lip liner is the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in the shade Bear to Comment. This is basically my lips, but better. I will fill my lips in completely with this shade. I will line my lips. I use this almost every single day. I have a ton backed up because it always sells out. It's creamy, it's smooth, it doesn't skip across your lips. It's just a great lip liner. This is the Aquaphor Lip Repair Treatment. When we first started staying at home, I noticed that my upper lip was actually getting really, really dry. It wasn't peeling, but it felt almost scaly, and I couldn't figure out why. Um, so I kind of went on a hunt and I've started looking at reviews. I ended up choosing the Aquaphor Lip Treatment. I will say that it doesn't taste the greatest. It definitely tastes a little bit chemically, but when you have it on your lips and you touch your lips together, it almost feels like you have like water on your lips. It's the coolest feeling, does great things for my lips. I can't recommend that enough. And last but certainly not least are the NYX Shout Loud Satin Lipsticks. Let me swatch these for you guys. They're so creamy and they're so pigmented and the colors are absolutely beautiful. That's the shade Cactus Dreams. I wear these almost every single day. This is the shade Cali. They don't tug when you're putting them on your lips. They, I'm actually missing one. Oh no, I wonder where that one is. They stay on for a relatively long time considering they are a satin lipstick. That is the shade Day Club. They're hydrating, they, they're beautiful. And then this is the shade a la mode. The shade that I'm missing is, um, I think it must be in my backpack, Silk. And that is, it's similar to a la mode, it's just a little bit warmer and peachier. Alright guys, so those were my current favorite products. Sorry that this video was so long, I just wanted to include everything that I love right now since I'm just starting this YouTube channel. And then that way in the future I can make videos about current favorites and actually have it be new products that I am loving. So I will have all of the products that I mentioned and all of the channels that I mentioned listed down below in the description box. I would love it if you guys subscribed. I hope you enjoyed my channel. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It would mean the world to me. Um, and I think that's all. Bye!